In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can create Visual Studio solutions and manage files within them. A Visual Studio solution consists of zero or more projects. Typically there is one project or more, but it can also be just zero projects. That doesn't seem very useful. In fact, Microsoft kind of agrees with you if you're thinking the same thing. Uh, because it, the file new menu only shows a new project. It doesn't show you a new solution. To get actually a solution without a project, you have to go down to the Other Project Types section, choose Visual Studio Solutions, and choose a blank solution. Once that's done, you can choose the location that you're going to put this in. And it should be a, a location that you can get to easily. And then say OK. Now the Visual Studio solution doesn't do a whole lot. Right now it's just a single solution file. If I click on the solution icon and solution explorer, I'll see an option in the context menu that says open folder in file explorer. And doing so, I will see the actual solution file. The solution file may look kind of mysterious, but it all it is is a little simple text file that contains a cross reference to any projects or files that are associated with it. If you want to organize files within Visual Studio, your best choice is to create a subfolder inside the solution folder. Give it a name such as SQL code or Python code, or documents, or reports, or whatever it's going to contain. And then place your code files, or document files, or whatever it's going to be inside of those folders. Now, if you, uh, let's say I have a uh, the documents folder, and I'll make a brand new Word document inside of it. Or I have a SQL code folder, and I'll need to make a, a SQL file. A SQL file is just a text file with a SQL extension, so I'll change the extension to SQL. So now I have two folders with a file in each one. You will notice that the solution um, icon and solution uh, Explorer does not yet show those folders or the file. Uh, and if I look at the the contents of that solution file again in Notepad, I see that nothing has changed. I guess it's a little hard to see. Let me change the font a little bit. Make it a little smaller with slow work. There's nothing has changed yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to register those files with Visual Studio. To do that, we right click on the solution icon and solution explorer and choose add from the context menu to add an existing item. Now we choose the files that are in our projects, such as the SQL file. or the Word doc. I'll use the Save button to save my solution. And when I go to the solution folder now and look at the contents of that solution file, you'll see that things have changed. We now have a reference to those files. Oh, actually, we should have a reference to those files. I see it doesn't actually show up yet. So I need to I'm going to hit save at all. Um, the reason why I didn't is because I was actually focused on the document file and it was uh, saving just that document file, which is not very useful. I'll use save all to make sure it saves everything, including the solution file. I think uh, a lot of students end up doing that same thing and that's why it doesn't always work. 
Okay, there we go. Now when I look at the solution, the solution file itself, you can see that it has recorded the document as being part of the solution items. Solution items is a logical name for the folder I'm looking working with. The physical folder is actually in the project it's called documents or SQL code, and then of course then the, the file name itself. I recommend that you organize your solution fo uh, folders a little bit differently. Since the solution items is a logical folder, what I do is I just add in a new solution folder and I'll call it documents. Or another solution folder called SQL code. I like this option because then instead of just having a generic virtual folder called solution items, I can have a specific virtual folder called documents or SQL code or whatever it's going to be. I would take the SQL code file and put it in to the SQL code folder, virtual folder, and the Word doc into the documents. And notice that um, it now shows a duplicate, but the files weren't copied. These are just logical representations of those files. In fact, if I right-click and remove them, it does not delete the file. It just deletes those references. I'll save all again. And if I come back and I look at that solution icon, you see the files are still there, the folders are still there, and the solution file itself Its logical folder name has changed. I specifically like doing this because it's just easier to manage a whole bunch of different files if you have them logically um, collected into their own folders, both physically on the hard drive and logically through the virtual folders. And typically I'd like to keep the names the same just so it doesn't get confusing. But there is no innate relationship between the folders and their names and the virtual folders in a solution a Visual Studio solution so if you want that relationship to exist I do recommend it you have to make sure that you enforce it you have to to pay attention as you create these folders if you want to add additional projects to the solution you can always right click on the solution and choose to add new project those new projects include all kinds of things such as a programming uh, application let's say I'm making a Windows application of whatever type web application or whatever type uh, SQL server code file uh, business intelligence uh, project it could be all kinds of different things but in all these uh, cases whatever you add will just be another project in that solution uh, that will be a lot set alongside of the folders that you've put in there. In my case, I've just added a integrated solution or integration services project. Uh, once again, I, I'm going to hit the save all to make sure that my Visual Studio file registers that. And once again, oops. Actually, this time it kept it for some reason. Cool. You can see that um, the Visual Studio um, text file has now recorded my project. It's recorded the, um, the location of the, the project. This is the, the folder. Uh, this is the project's file name, which actually a, a DT project or project files can uh, list out the code files within a project. And of course, the logical representation of it. Now set that we have now a a new folder to go along with our other folders. This time though, Visual Studio's project template created both a logical representation and a physical representation on the hard drive with the various files inside.
Now, as we start adding in code files, such as this is a XML based code file. As we start adding code files to the, the project, the project file will record those code files as being part of that project. In general, the way it works is a solution is a collection of zero or more projects. A project is a collection of zero or more code files. But your solution can also contain other supporting documents or code files to go along with your various different projects. And if you have those, I recommend you make virtual folders, physical folders to match them, and put your supporting files in those folders. Hope that makes sense, and uh, thanks for watching.